So uh, Lakers, uh, hopefully that their uh, shooting touch is on tonight here at home. Only three games left in the season. Big, uh, big game here tonight as uh, Michigan Tech is down at Grand Valley and they're one game ahead of the Lakers. And that won't be an easy, easy game down there for them either. Um, so uh, Lakers hopeful can win this one and then turn it around and have uh, Grand Valley beat uh, Michigan Tech and then they would uh, be tied for second place going into the big game on Saturday against uh, Wayne State University. So both teams coming out to center court. It will be uh, Caleb Davis against Mike Nicholson in the uh, center circle. Lakers have had difficult time beating Saginaw Valley lately. I think uh, coach said it's about three or four times in a row they've lost to him. So uh, hopefully uh, we can get a better result here tonight. Ball's thrown up and the tip is controlled by the Cardinals. It'll be Gardner with it. Gardner brings it up court, gives it off to Wells. Wells on the right side, now off to Gelhouse. Gelhouse top of the key over to Gardner. Gardner to Gelhouse, now rotates to the right to Davis for three, no good. Rebound by Williams, a Kim J with it. We'll slow it down a little bit now and run the offense. Over to Monger, to the left side to Dasuki. Dasuki looks for cutters. Still looking, he'll find uh, Williams. Williams into the paint, loses it as uh, Davis steals it. Quickly up court, here's Garner. Garner with it, will slow it down. Now he'll drive into the paint. Garner kicks it out to Turnage. Back out to Wells for three, no good. And Williams with another rebound by the Lakers. Williams quickly up court, one on three. Williams through the middle, puts up a shot and scores. Good job there by Kim J. Williams. Got through the triple team and the Lakers lead 2-0. Garner with it for Saginaw Valley. Garner looking for a cutter, finds uh, Wells on the left side now to Turnage. Turnage double team, long cross court pass to Davis. Davis inside, now back to Turnage. Turnage has it blocked by Nicholson and Williams comes down with it. Williams one on one against Davis. Kicks it back out to Dasuki. three pointer by Dasuki. good. <laughs> and Jordan Dasuki keeps up his hot shooting in the Lakers lead five to two. Malik Gardner with the ball. He drives to the right. Still with it against Dasuki. Kicks it in the corner to Wells. Wells around to Davis. Now back to Garner. To Davis. Inside to Wells. Drives in. Blocked by Nicholson, that's Mike's second block, and here comes Williams again with the ball. Williams inside to Nicholson, puts it up and scores, and the Lakers are up 7-0. Nice start by Lake State. Good defense on the other end. Two block shots by the Lakers. Garner with it over to Turnage. Turnage to Gelhouse. Gelhouse now to Wells, now to Turnage. Turnage deep on the right baseline. Kicks it back out to Garner. Garner tries to drive in. He finds Gelhouse. Galhaus gonna now screen for uh, Garner. Garner back to Galhaus, now out to Davis. Davis drives right, hands off to Wells for a three-pointer and he knocks it down as the shot clock buzzer goes off. So good defense there by the Lakers, but Wells was able to hit the three-pointer and it's 7-3 Lakers. Williams with it to uh, Dasuki. Dasuki way out top over to Nicholson. Now back to Dasuki, gets a screen from Nicholson. Dasuki still with it. Now he uh, tried to get it back to Williams, throws it away, and here's uh, Gardner with a layup, and uh, quickly Saginaw Valley gets five points, and that 7-0 uh, run by the Lakers is almost matched with a five-point run by the Cardinals. Monger with it out to Nicholson, over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt underneath the Monger. Monger puts it up and scores. Good job there against Gelhaus. And it's 9-5 Lakers, 16-40 left in the first half. Garner with it over to Turnage. Now to Galhouse to the right side to Wells. Wells back out top to Davis. Davis bounce pass over to Garner. Garner on the left wing, looks inside, finds Davis. Davis double team. Davis comes out of there. Almost had it stolen by Goldschmidt. He got a hand on it but couldn't control it, and it goes out of bounds. And now number five, Garrett Hall, will come in and uh, Caleb Davis will sit down. 
So it'll be Saginaw Valley ball, side court. Garner with it. Garner going to take a long three, and that one's good. He uh, was way behind the arc. And Monger didn't even uh, think that he would attempt a three-pointer, but he did, and now it's 9-8 to eight Lakers. Goldschmidt with it on the left wing. Goldschmidt gives it off to Dasuki. Three-pointer by Jordan. No good, and the rebound comes to Hall for Saginaw Valley. Hall up the right side. Hall against Goldschmidt. Hall underneath has to kick it out to Wells. Now out top to Garner. <clears throat> Garner looks at coach Baruth to see what he wants run. Over to Galhos. Now off to Hall. Hall, good defense there by Goldschmidt to Turnage. Turnage in the paint. Turnage still with it. Turnage is going to travel or a jump ball. Jump ball, they're going to call it. Nice block shot there. Tied up uh, Turnage. So uh, the Lakers will get the ball as the arrow's pointing that way. 9 to 8, Lake State, 15 35 left in the first half. A Kim J. Williams will bring the ball up the left side, gets it to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt back out top to Nicholson, over to Dasuki. Dasuki looking for cutters, finds Monger. Monger over to Nicholson. Nicholson up and good. Nice play there by the Lakers. Good passing. And we'll quickly up court here is Saginaw Valley. That's Hall. Gives it back to Garner at the half court line to Galhouse. Now to the left side to Wells. Wells with it. Out top to Dev Devin Dixon, who's in there now. Back to Wells for a three pointer air ball. That was Garner, actually. And Williams comes down with the rebound. Williams. Williams kicks it back to Nicholson. Nicholson going to dribble in over to uh, Dasuki. Going to get a screen now. Dasuki going to drive the paint and loses control of it. And Wells steals it, coming the other way. Here's Garner. Garner, good defense by Goldschmidt. Back out to Dixon. Dixon doesn't take the shot. Now he gets it inside. Dixon is going to travel as he uh, took two steps. And we're going to have our first media timeout of the half. So with the score, Lake State 11, Saginaw Valley 8. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Okay, I got 60 here. Customers could get fast, friendly, local service. It worked so well, we decided to keep it that way. And 100 years later, we still do things the same way. By teaming up with local independent agents who deliver quality, personal service. Thank you. Some might call that old school. But then again, maybe everything old is new again. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? Visit Madigan Pingator Insurance Services today on Water Street in Sioux, Michigan or at MadiganPingator.com. Hi, this is Scott from Parker Ace Hardware. At Ace, we make painting a simple pleasure. Ask one of our friendly, knowledgeable Ace associates about our Ace Royal Paint, a high-quality paint at a price you'll love. You'll find Ace Royal Paint starting at an everyday low price of just $19.99 a gallon. It's another reason why, from a simple start to a fabulous finish, Parker Ace can help make your next painting project perfect. Parker Ace, the helpful place. Stop by Parker Ace Hardware. We're looking forward to serving you real soon. Stop by Parker Ace Hardware at 819 Ashman, downtown Sioux, Michigan. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. And welcome back to the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers lead the Cardinals 11 to 8. Malik Adams checks into the game for Jordan Dasuki. So it'll be Adams, Williams, Monger, Nicholson and Goldschmidt out there. And Adams will bring the ball up court for the Lakers. Over to Williams. Williams going to get a screen from Nicholson. Going to take a three-pointer. No good short. And the rebound comes up to Hall for the Cardinals. Hall quickly up court. Gives it back to Wells. Wells out top. Just 5'8". So Kim G has somebody his size to guard finally. Here's Wells. And Williams gets a hand in there to knock the ball away as... Uh, Hall was trying to pass it underneath, so it'll remain Saginaw Valley ball. We got a uh, sub coming in. That's uh, Tim Carendiff coming in for Williams. So Kim G will get a little bit of a rest here at the 14-minute mark. Wells inbounds. Wells throws it back towards half court, and C.J. Turnage runs it down. Turnage hands it off to Hall. Hall with nine on the shot clock. Hall kicks it back over to Dixon. 15-footer by Dixon is good. And it's 11-10 Lakers. Karen Diff with it. Karen Diff 
over to uh, Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt out to Nicholson. Now to Monger on the right side. Now down into Nicholson. Nicholson double team. And he tried to get it to Goldschmidt cutting, but uh, Wells steals it. Wells the other way, puts it up and scores. And the turnover uh, gives the Cardinals their first lead of the game, 12 to 11. Malik Adams with it. Adams still with it over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt back out top to Nicholson. Nicholson still with it. Going to drive into the paint. All against Dixon. Nicholson puts it up. It's blocked. Nicholson had the ball for a second. The ball's on the ground. Nicholson with it. Nicholson still with it. And he's rolling all around. A timeout by the Lakers. I don't know how... You can roll on the ground with the basketball, but uh, somehow he did, and he was still able to get the uh, timeout. So it's a 30-second timeout by the Lakers. We'll keep this one here, 12 to 11. Saginaw Valley uh, leads. Just to uh, recap final scores for the women. Um, as I said, Saginaw Valley beat the Lakers 60 to 51. Finley defeated Tiffin 75 to 70. Ashland beat Walsh 92 to 50. Grand Valley leads Michigan Tech 58 to 41 in the fourth quarter. And uh, 58 to 44 now. Northern Michigan beat Ferris 67-53. Northwood beat Wayne State 66-61. And Hillsdale beat Lake Erie 88-68. So the Lakers will inbound. It'll be Karen Diff with it. Karen Diff still with it. Finds Monger. Monger was going to take three, but stops. Gives it off to Carendiff. 20 on the shot clock. Here's uh, Adams with it. Over to uh, Smutney, who's in there now for the Lakers. Smutney with it to Carendiff. Carendiff going to take a three-pointer. No good air ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. So the Lakers, since uh, Dasuki and Williams have gone out, they uh, have uh, lost the flow a little bit. So uh, Wells will bring it up against Carendiff. Wells to the right side to Hall. Hall inside to Dixon. Dixon double team. Looking still with the ball. Dixon throws it away as uh, Wells was trying to uh, get open. And he zigged when uh, Dixon thought he was going to zag. And now uh, Akimji comes back in for Carendiff. 12.27 to go in the first half. Lakers trail 12-11. Malik Adams will bring the ball up court for the Lakers. He gives it off to Monger. Monger finds Williams. Williams free throw line, 15 footer, no good. <coughs> Rebound to Dixon for the Cardinals. And he'll hand it off to Wells who will bring it across the timeline. Wells against uh, Williams over to Hall. Hall takes a three pointer and knocks it down. Nice left handed shot there and the uh, Cardinals have a four point lead, 15 to 11. Williams with it, gets a screen from Smutney. Williams all the way into the paint. Williams puts it up and it's blocked. And they're saying it's out of bounds off of the Cardinals. Now Dasuki comes back in for Goldschmidt. And uh, it'll be Laker ball. Kim G. Williams will inbound under his own basket. Lakers trail 15 to 11. Williams gets it into Dasuki. Dasuki to Adams. Adams uh, almost lost the ball, but Williams somehow comes down with it. And Williams goes to scoop it up and has it blocked out of bounds by uh, Gelhaus. So Lakers will get the ball again under their own basket. Only 11 seconds left on the shot clock. They get it into Adams. Three-pointer by Adams. No good, but there's Smutney on the rebound. Off to Monger. Monger into the paint. Stops. Gives it back to Smutney, over to Dasuki. A new shot clock for the Lakers. Here's Adams with it. Adams over to Smutney. Smutney backdoor cut by Williams. Williams puts it up, scores, and is fouled by Garner. Good backdoor cut there by Williams as Garner was worried about him getting the ball outside. Williams just went backdoor and made the basket and will go to the free throw line where he is a 75% free throw shooter on the season. And this one's good. So it cuts the deficit to one. Now the Lakers putting full court pressure on. They get it to Hall. Saginaw Valley quickly up court. And back to Garner. Garner uh, will drive left. 
Now finds Gelhaus to uh, Roberts, who's in there now. Richie Roberts over to uh, Daniels. Jake Daniels for two, no good. He just entered the game, and Williams comes down with the rebound. Williams with it. Williams gets a screen from Smutney. Stops, looks, gives it off to Dasuki. Dasuki going to try to get it uh, to Monger, but uh, Roberts knocks it out of bounds at side court. So uh, Monger will tie his shoe first before he inbounds. Lakers trail 15 to 14, 10 49 left in the first half. So uh, Carson will inbound side court. They tried to get it inside to Williams and threw it away. Saginaw Valley read that play very well and it was an easy steal for him. Here's uh, Garner over to uh, Hall. Hall drives in the paint. Smutney uh, is going to draw the charge as uh, Hall took it to the basket, lowered his shoulder, and uh, picked up the offensive foul. He made the basket but uh, drew the uh, foul as Smutney with good position there and good defense by the Lakers. <coughs> That's the first foul on Hall. Williams will bring it up for the Lakers. Williams. Backdoor cut to Monger. Monger almost lost it, gets it to Dasuki over to Adams. Adams to the free throw line, stops. Now he's in, in trouble, has to find somebody to get it to and gets it to Williams. Williams with it. Williams drives through the double team. Williams up underneath the block shot and scores. Good job there by Akimji and the Lakers are back on top, 16 to 15, with 10 minutes left in the first half. Garner with it for Saginaw Valley to Roberts, over to Hall. Hall on the right wing. Hall back to Gelhaus. Gelhaus now over to Daniels. Daniels on the left wing, guarded by Williams. Daniels has it stolen by Williams. Williams going the other way, two on one with Dasuki. He'll pack it off to, to a Monger for three. That's going to be long, no good, and Gelhaus comes down with a rebound. Williams had a two on one break there and didn't take it to the hole. He decided to give it up to a Monger who couldn't knock down the three pointer. And now Saginaw Valley is going to slow the game up a little bit here as Garner just dribbling out by half court. Garner gets a screen from Galhaus. Garner all the way to the paint, throws it up and scores. Not, not much defense there by the Lakers as he went through the whole team and got an easy layup. And now the Lakers trail by one. Here's Adams over to uh, Dasuki on the left wing. Dasuki looks for backdoor cutters, nothing there. Smutney with it now. Smutney lob pass over to Williams. And Williams uh, stepped out of bounds. It seems to be a trend for the Lakers. The women uh, stepped out of bounds three times. And now the uh, men do too. And uh, before Saginaw Valley gets the ball, we're going to have the media timeout. So with the score, Saginaw Valley 17, Lakers 16. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're listening to the Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. Got 60 here your family needs at the Barnes & Noble Bookstore on campus at Lake State. Laker apparel from Under Armour and Nike plus Laker souvenirs show you're a Laker backer. Get all the textbooks you need because they price match textbooks. Stop by and learn more today. Plus, all top 10 best-selling fiction and non-fiction books are always 20% off. Laker pride lives at Barnes & Noble on campus at Lake State. Open weekdays, even Saturdays, 10 to 3. Be tire smart. When you think tires, think UP Tire. Not only do they offer complete tire sales and service, they also provide fast professional tire repair. Their computer spin balancing technique ensures your rubber meets the road properly. Free air and tire checks are done by their pros, so stop in before your next road trip. Field and road service are available. Plus, they now offer tire pressure monitoring system service. Call 632-6661. UP Tire on East Easter Day and Seymour in Sioux, Michigan and at uptire.com. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. WKNW. Duce Marie Sports Authority. And we're back at the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Laker men trail Saginaw Valley 17 to 16. 903 left in the first half. It'll be Saginaw Valley ball as the uh, Lakers just turn the ball over. So Mike Wells will bring it up for Saginaw Valley. Wells against Williams. Wells drives to the right, still with the ball against Smutney. Now into Turnage. Turnage puts it up and scores. And uh, Saginaw Valley leads 19 to 16. Williams with it. Williams over to Cairndiff now. Back to Williams. Williams underneath to 
to Nicholson. Nicholson puts it up and is fouled by Davis. As uh, he could not make the basket though. And uh, Nicholson not the best free throw shooter in the world. Only 53%. So that was probably a good foul by Davis. So let's see if he can knock these two down and cut that lead down to one. Nicholson's first attempt's up and no good. He'll get one more attempt. Lakers on the year, not uh, shooting free throws the best, only 70%. Their opponents are shooting 79%. And Nicholson does make the second, so he gets one of two. The Lakers are within two now. Wells will bring it up for Saginaw Valley. Wells, crossover dribble past Williams. Wells still with the ball. Wells underneath, kicks it in the corner to Davis. Now over to Roberts. Roberts, top of the key, double teamed over to Turnage. Turnage drives against Nicholson. Nicholson, good defense, gets the rebound off to Williams. Williams up the left side now, still with the ball. Williams uh, looking for a post up of Nicholson. Nicholson trying to post up, but Roberts uh, not letting him get position. Over to Karen Diff. Karen Diff to Dasuki. Dasuki now had uh, Nicholson, but uh, now uh, Goldschmidt with it. Goldschmidt into Nicholson. We're going to have a foul on Roberts as he was maul mauling Nicholson under there. Roberts only 6'2", Nicholson 6'8", so definitely a height disadvantage for Roberts, but he was getting really physical with him. So Lakers inbound, get it into Dasuki. Dasuki um, over to uh, Goldschmidt, now to Karendiff. Karendiff to Williams, Williams out top. Fakes one way, now into the paint. 14-footer is going to be short. And Turnage comes down with the rebound. Lakers trail 19-17, 7.36 to go in the game. Wells hands off to Hall, over to Turnage. Back to Hall, Hall on the left wing. Hall against Dasuki, going to take a three-pointer, and that one's good, and Hall's knocked down two of them there. And the uh, Cardinals match their, they say it's a two-pointer, so 21-17 Lakers trail. His foot must have been on the line. Dasuki to Williams. Williams, 15-footer. Good. Rolled around and dropped in this time. He came up short on his first two shots. That one barely got over the rim, and it's 21-19 Saginaw Valley. Wells played a lot of minutes out there. He has the ball. Comes to the left. Hands off to Hall. Now to Davis. Back to Hall. Hall going to the right side. Hall with it. Double team. Takes another two-pointer, and that one's good. And... Uh, Garrett Hall's on fire. He's made a three and a couple two-pointers, and the Lakers don't have an answer for him right now. And the Lakers trail 23 to 19. Karen Diff to Goldschmidt now inside to Nicholson. Nicholson against Davis. Nicholson double team. Gets the ball back to Dasuki. Three-pointer, no good. And Hall comes down with the rebound for Saginaw Valley. Hall with it. Hall is going to be, uh, he passes it inside to Davis and uh, Dasuki tried to get him off the box with a two-hand shove in the back, and he got caught for the foul. That's only the first foul on the Lakers. So Lakers went almost 14 minutes without committing a foul. So Wells will inbound for Saginaw Valley, and it's uh, tied up underneath Nicholson and Turnage, and the arrow will be pointing towards the Cardinals. Checking in now for the Cardinals is Garner checking out his Roberts. Wells will inbound for the Cardinals. Wells still with the ball, bounce pass into Davis, and it's stolen by Williams. Williams one on two, one on three now. Williams cross court pass to Carendiff. Carendiff three pointer, no good air ball. That's two air balls now for Carendiff. And here comes Hall the other way. Hall with it. Gives it off to Garner. Lakers not shooting the ball well this first half. And trail by four. Here's Garner, and Garner is going to have a blocking foul called on Williams. That's Williams' first, team second, so Garner will go to the line and shoot two. Garner on the season. A 86% free throw shooter. First one's up and good. That matches the largest lead by the Cardinals of five points. 5.58 to go in the first half. Now uh, Blake Marquardt comes in for Karen Diff. Marquardt, uh, boy, he lit it up the first few games. 
from three-point line, but uh, we need a big game out of him here tonight, too. And Garner makes it, so it's a six-point lead for the Cardinals. <clears throat> Lakers been stuck on 19 for a while. Need some offense down here. Williams with it. Goldschmidt backdoor cut. Williams with it still. Over to Marquardt. Marquardt for three. That's no good. Lakers ice cold from the outside. And when they lose, it's usually because they can't hit their outside shots, and that's what happens happening here today. And Turnage gets it in the low post, and he goes up for a shot and is fouled. And it looks like that's going to be on Nicholson. That'll be his first. And C.J. Turnage will go to the line where he he's only a 58% free throw shooter. And he'll get two shots to see if he can extend this Cardinal lead. First one's up and good. He'll get one more attempt here. Big game for the Lakers. They need to win this one. Give themselves a shot at second place. And he misses the second one, and Goldschmidt comes down with the rebound. Lakers trail by 7, 26 to 19. Williams with it. Williams over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt back out top to Dasuki. Dasuki looks inside, finds Nicholson. Nicholson against Galhaus. Nicholson underneath, puts it up, scores, and is fouled. Good job there by Nicholson. And uh, Wade Galhaus picks up the foul. And Nicholson will go and try to uh, get the old-fashioned three-point play and get the Lakers to within four. Nicholson one out of two from the line so far this uh, tonight. And the free throw is up and way short. Just hit the front of the rim and Turnage comes down with the rebound. He'll hand it off to Garner and Garner will bring it up the right side to Gelhaus. Now top to Turnage. Turnage kicks it back to Wells. Now over to cross court to Garner. Inside to Turnage. Turnage double teamed. Finds Wells. Three-pointer. Good. And Saginaw Valley continues to shoot the ball very well from the outside, and they have an eight-point lead on the Lakers now, 29-21. Williams with it to Nicholson over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt with it now, top to Marquardt. Marquardt, lob pass into Nicholson. Nicholson underneath against Turnage. Nicholson puts it up and scores. Good position there by Nicholson. Quickly up court, here's Hall. Hall for <coughs> Saginaw Valley slows it up now, gives it back to Garner. Lakers trail 29-23, 4.25 to go in the first half. Hall with it. Hall going to take a three-pointer, and that's good. And uh, Garrett Hall is on fire. The Cardinals are on fire, and Coach Henniga is taking a 30-second timeout. And with the score, Saginaw Valley 32, Lake State 23. It's going to be the media timeout, actually, so it's going to be a 60-second timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Okay, I got a 60 here. All the things it has to give, like having all the apps I need right at my fingertips. Friends, photos, and my mobile banking app. I can pay bills, check my balance, even deposit a check right on my mobile phone. It's awesome. I just tap the app. Sue Co-op Credit Union, your credit union, federally insured by NCUA. Visit us online at suecoop.com. What's worse than a nasty snowstorm? Getting stuck in a nasty snowstorm with a snowblower that won't start. First Impression Small Engine Repair has walked behind a Toro snowblower to handle any driveway with models from 21 to 28 inches and electric power shovels for sidewalks and decks that are also available. Now is the time to bring in your current snowblower for a checkup to be ready for the snow. First Impression Small Engine Repair west on 7 Mile from Mackinac Trail. Ask about our financing options. And now back to Laker Basket. ESPN and welcome back to the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail Saginaw Valley 32 to 23. 418 to go in the first half. Saginaw Valley just on fire from the outside, and the Lakers can't buy a basket. Fortunately, they've had some inside uh, presence, and uh, Mike Nicholson's made a couple inside to uh, keep this relatively close, but the Lakers have to start hitting their outside shots if they're gonna want to win the game. Nicholson with it at the top of the key. Hands it off to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt drives into the paint. One-handed runner and that should have been a goaltending as he uh, blocked it after it hit the rim but they don't call it. And Garner will uh, 
slow it up for Saginaw Valley. That was an obvious goaltending call. Get it to Turnage. Over to Hall. Hall back to Turnage. Turnage is going to travel. He uh, doesn't think that he did, but uh, he uh, moved both feet as he tried to make a move in there. And so the Lakers will get it back, trailing by nine. Williams with it for Lake State. Across the timeline, over to Marquardt on the left wing. Out top to Nicholson. Nicholson to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt, three-pointer, no good. Lakers still can't hit from the outside. And here come the uh, Cardinals. Quickly up court, Wells. Wells uh, back to Garner. And the uh, coach says, slow it up. Let's run some clock with a nine-point lead. Garner gets it over to Hall. Hall, another three-pointer, and another one good. He is on fire. That was good defense. The guy was running at him with his hand in the air. And you can't do much more than that. And Hall has made like four or five three-pointers in this first half. And the Lakers trail by 12. Marquardt with it. Marquardt backs it out. Still with the ball. Now gets it into Nicholson. Nicholson into the paint. Puts up a shot. No good. And Turnage on the rebound. Quickly up to Hall. Hall with it. Hall going against Monger. And Monger fouls him. And uh, Hall will go to the free throw line and shoot a pair, and the Lakers is just out of sync right now. Garrett Hall is their uh, leading scorer, but he uh, usually only shoots about 38% from the three-point line, and he's up in the 70 or 80% here, maybe even 100% today. Makes the first free throw. The Suki coming back in for Marquardt. 36-23, Lakers trail, 239 to play. Lakers have to try to Get this one back a little closer in the last couple minutes. Get it under 10 anyway as uh, Hall makes a second free throw as well. So they can go in the halftime with a uh, deficit that they can recover from. Here's Williams with it. Williams, nice bounce pass into Nicholson and it's blocked out of bounds by Dixon. Nicholson just lost the handle on it just for a second. Otherwise, he would have had an easy layup and instead that time gave Dixon... That gave Dixon time to come over and block it. So Williams will inbound. Gets it into Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt out to top to Monger. Monger inside to Nicholson. Thrown away. Nicholson going one way. The ball went the other way. And the turnover gives it right back to Saginaw Valley. And the Lakers led this one 7-0. Looked like they were off to a great start. Made their first three-pointer. And since that time, haven't done a lot. Hall with it. Hall into Dixon. Dixon puts it up. No good. Nicholson on the rebound. Nicholson gives it off to Williams. Williams up the right side. Williams in between two players. Scoop shot up and good. Nice job there by Williams. And it's a 37-25 Saginaw Valley with under two minutes to go in the first half. Williams uh, guarding Garner off to Hall. Hall on the left wing. Hall now to Dixon. Dixon against Nicholson. Blocked, but Turnage comes down with the rebound. Turnage to Garner. Garner on the right wing, eight on the shot clock. Garner to Wells, three-pointer, no good. They finally missed one, and Goldschmidt comes down with a rebound. Off to Williams, Williams. Williams going to take a three-pointer, no good, but there's Nicholson underneath with the rebound, puts it up, and he is fouled by Dixon, did not make the basket. Worked hard to get the rebound, and he'll go to the free-throw line and shoot two. Lakers trail 37-25. That's the sixth-team foul on the Cardinals. The first on Dixon, and Nicholson will go to the line and shoot a pair as he was fouled in the act of shooting. Nicholson uh, toes the line, bends the knees, puts up the right-handed shot, and it's good. Rolled around but fell in, and now uh, Davis, Caleb Davis, comes in, and uh, Devin Dixon sits down for the Cardinals. Nicholson, one more attempt here to see if he can cut the lead to 10, and he does. Makes two for two. Smutney now comes in for Nicholson. Lakers within 10, 120 to go in the game, or in the uh, first half, excuse me. And Garner will bring the ball up for the Cardinals. Garner over to Turnage to the right side to Hall. Now to Wells, Wells bounce pass to Turnage. Turnage puts it up and scores. Got an easy layup. 
And uh, Saginaw Valley's up by 12. Screen by Smutney. Williams still with the ball. Retained his dribble. Williams into the paint. Kicks it out to Monger for three. And no, Carson Monger can't knock it down. Wide open shot. One he usually makes and uh, couldn't, couldn't get it to fall. And now uh, Saginaw Valley will get a uh, chance to expand this lead to uh, 14. Here's uh, Hall again, three-pointer. He finally missed. And uh, Smutney comes down with the rebound. Little pushing there by Garner. Lakers uh, two-second shot clock differential. And it looks like they're going to uh, try to get the last shot here. Run the shot clock out. Goldschmidt with it. Goldschmidt back to Williams. 13 on the shot clock. Williams going to take a long three. That's not what coach wanted. But here comes Hall. Hall almost has it stolen. Still with the ball, Hall. Here's Garner for three. That's no good. Rebound to Monger. Long full court shot. No good. And the score at the end of the first half. Saginaw Valley 39. Lake Superior State 27. We're going to be back with the women's coach, Kristen Rogers. After this, you're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Why don't you do three minutes? Uh, no. Can you hear me? There no, you go. Okay. Had to turn it up. <laughs> How's uh, Tamara? She's okay. Is she? She tweaked that a lot, the knee? Um, Every it, once in a while I see she yep. goes down. She's going to have to deal with it like the whole time. They, they can do surgery on it, but it's just yeah. the chances of it being successful aren't very good. Aren't so. very good. Okay. She was having another nice game. You know, she's really improved this year. I mean, yeah, she missed a few easy ones tonight that she oh, didn't yeah, make. Yeah, yeah. No, she's gotten a lot better. But I mean, the girls she was going against, they were <laughs> big girls. I mean, pretty physical. And Lexi had a good good yep. game, you know. Is uh, Peterson out now the rest of the year? Yeah. Okay. One minute. Uh, all right. On Meath County, Arpstrom, life care from the initial order, three and set up in the patient's home. Our trained and certified staff has many years of experience ready to support individual needs. Give us a call. Well, I tell you, is it Pat Padgett? Yeah. She's, she's not bad. I mean, a little rough, but <laughs> she has desire. Yeah. <laughs> Downtown to Michigan, Health March. What, what, is she a freshman? Uh, no, she's a junior. She played softball here. That's going to be a challenge. Get her to Oh, after this. With ATVs. No. Uh, to make every job easier, tractors from Kubota and Massey Ferguson that do the work of a half dozen of your best buddies. And simplicity and air and snow throwers to clear the way. Parts and service also available. Count on Skinner's of Pickford, your tractor source in the north, locally owned for over 50 years. Downtown Pickford. And now back to Laker Basketball, ESPN 1400. And welcome back to the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Laker men trail Saginaw Valley 39 to 27. Joining me now, Women's coach Kristen Rogers and uh, coach, uh, tough one. It was against the first place team in the North. And when I look at it, uh, you were even for three quarters. It was just that second quarter where we couldn't keep up with them and ended up losing by nine. Yeah, the second quarter kind of really got away from us there a little bit. Uh, 
we already kind of are a little bit short rotation wise and don't go real deep into our bench and with Rachel in foul trouble there that kind of really hurt us in the second quarter and maybe second guessing it we could have went back to her and hope she didn't pick up her third but just as much as they went inside uh, we didn't want to put her in a situation where she would have to sit a lot of the third quarter as well. Right, and uh, you know we, we we talked about that. She picked up two quick fouls, and with uh, <coughs> the uh, height inside and how uh, Saginaw Valley goes inside, chances were probably better than most that she might have picked up the third foul, and uh, so it was probably good to rest her. But uh, again, it took the flow a little bit away from your rotation, um, you know. And, and what I what I was talking to the viewers or the listeners about was uh, how the Lakers hung in there in the second half, slowly picked away at the lead actually had a couple possessions where they could have got it down to under seven points uh, and had some momentum but then a couple untimely turnovers uh, gave gave uh, Saginaw Valley the ball back and, and they were able to hold on. Yeah, I was pleased with how we played in the second half for the most part. I thought we were really flat in the first. We just didn't have a lot of energy. Um, even in that first quarter where we kind of hung in there we just didn't play with that same energy that we did in the second half and I Thought we really talked about at halftime about attacking in the second and not settling and making sure we got the ball inside, whether it was on the drive, which we did a lot more there with McKenzie and Claire got in there a couple times. Um, Lexi drove a few times to kick some things out. Um, but I thought we were a lot more aggressive in the second half. Um, like I said, turnovers just got us. They, we would play really, really well for a stretch and cut the lead and defend pretty well and get a big stop, and then we'd come down and... And just some of the passes we made, I felt like we just threw it to the bleachers. Like it wasn't even like close to someone. Um, right. I don't know if it was fatigue. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um, but we definitely have to take better care of the basketball. Uh, 18 turnovers against a team that primarily played half court defense is just a few too many. Um, right. Especially when when you're not making threes, you can't right. give up possessions because you're not getting as many points per possession as you would if you were making jump shots. Yeah, we uh, probably one of the lower percentages from three points. Um, line today only three out of 11 um, and, and Claire had a rough rough game she's she's I think our best three-point shooter and was 0 for 4 but that's going to happen from time to time um, but Lexi Kuhn really picked things up I mean uh, she she was three for four from the field two for two from three-point line three for four from the free throw line so that's that's nice to see from a freshman yeah, Lexi definitely had a good game, but she's a lot more aggressive than she's been. Um, the past few games here, everybody's chosen to double the post a little bit off of her, and it's left her open for some jump shots. And early on, she was kind of passing those up, and we just kind of let her know we have all the confidence in the world in her, and we need her to be aggressive and try to make plays. And uh, she stepped up and shot the ball really well of late here. Now, Tamara Novit had a good game again, 15 points. She got injured, but you said nothing, nothing too serious. She should be able to play Saturday, but 15.7 rebounds. You know, the last three, four games, she's really been uh, solid inside. Yeah, she's she's always really been able to score the basketball, and the rest of her game starting to come around a little bit. Um, she's doing a better job on the boards. Uh, she's defending better, which is allowing her to stay out on the floor a little bit more because she's not getting in that early foul trouble that forces us to sit her for much of the first half. Um, but that's a credit to her. She's done a great job of getting herself in shape to play at this level and putting in the time to uh, be able to defend some players that play a little bit away from the basket um, like we see in our league a lot. Um, but she's grown so much as a player and she's really coming into her own and we look forward to her growth not over only over these next couple games but over the next year too. And then the usual uh, steady uh, person, Mackenzie Edwards, 13 points, 8 rebounds, led you in rebounding. You know, sometimes she might not score a lot but she does so many other things and she only had one turnover tonight so you know, solid play, but you expect that every game from McKenzie. Yeah, um, like you said, she's just solid. Um, she does the right things at the defensive end of the floor. Um, she's really developed as a scorer, and when teams take away her jump shot like they did tonight, um, she's able to get to the rim a little bit more. And I th thought she made some plays there where she got to the rim and scored it, and thought she got fouled a couple times, but maybe we didn't quite get the calls, but it opened some things up for us on the perimeter. So, uh, we're on to our last home game on Saturday against uh, Wayne State. Um, we lost to them down down there, um, but I think it's a game that if, uh, <coughs> if if your girls come out and play play hard, they they could easily win it and send uh, send our only senior McKenzie off with uh, a victory in her last home game on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a little bit different style game than we saw here tonight. Um, they're a lot more uh, guard oriented and look to get dribble penetration and things like that. And, Thought at their place, we struggled a little bit in the first half to defend that. Um, but we're going to have the advantage inside, and hopefully we can get the ball in there around the basket and be pretty effective. Um, but definitely a team we can be in our home floor. Um, I think we know we didn't play our best down at their place, and 
our girls are eager to get back out there and have a second opportunity for them. And we play well at home and play with a ton of energy, so we're looking forward to Saturday. All right, Coach. Well, uh, tough loss tonight, but hopefully we'll uh, bring home a victory on Saturday. Thanks for stopping up and uh, chatting with us here. Again, the uh, Laker women uh, lost tonight 60-51. to Thanks, Coach Rogers, for stopping up. Thank you. That was Coach Kristen Rogers of the women's team. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with the first half stats from the men's game. Men trail 39-27 to the Cardinals. We'll be back uh, shortly. You're listening to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. Why don't you do three minutes again? One minute. Or expanding your existing business. There's a spirit in our people. Some call it a surprise. Hi, I'm Gary Sharp, President and CEO of Old Mission Bank, where we have a unique perspective when it comes to understanding local businesses because in 2000, we began our dream of opening the Upper Peninsula's first new bank in over three decades, and we have built Old Mission to be a strong, safe, and sound financial institution. Lending money is our business. We take great pride in all the businesses, big and small, that we've helped along the way. At Old Mission Bank, we know what it takes to grow and maintain a strong business just like yours. We are proof that dreams really can come true. So if you have a dream to start or expand a business, see us first and let our experience work for you. Old Mission Bank, located on the business fur in Sault Ste. Marie and in Pickford on Main Street. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. And we're back at the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail Saginaw Valley. 39-27 at halftime, the first half stats. Saginaw Valley shot 54% from the field, 14 out of 26. They were 6 out of 12 from the three-point line, 50%. Free throws, 5 out of 6 for 83%. Individual scoring, Garrett Hall had 15 points. Malik Garner had 11. 8 points for Mike Wells. 3 points for C.J. Turnage. And 2 points for Devin Dixon for a total of 39. Cardinals had 16 rebounds, one offensive, 15 defensive. They had uh, seven turnovers, three block shots, and five steals. For the Lakers, a tough shooting uh, night so far in the first half. They were only 11 out of 31, 35%. Only one out of 13 from the three-point line for 8%. And four out of six from the uh, free throw line for 67%. Uh, individual scores, uh, 11 points for Mike Nicholson, 11 points for Kim J. Williams, 3 points for Jordan Dasuki, and 2 points for Carson Monger. Only 4 people scored for the Lakers for a total of 27. The Lakers had 18 rebounds, 
Six offensive, 12 defensive, and they were led by Mike Nicholson with five. Lakers had eight assists, uh, six turnovers, four block shots all by Mike Nicholson, and two steals by Kim J. Williams for a uh, for the first half. The uh, Lakers uh, outscored Saginaw Valley in the paint, 18 to 10. Saginaw Valley outscored the Lakers 6 to 4 off of turnovers. Lakers uh, had outscored Saginaw Valley 7 0 on second chance points, tied on fast break points at 4. And the uh, statistic you don't see much the uh, Saginaw Valley bench outscored the Lakers 17 to 0. Lakers did not get any scoring from their bench, and that certainly has to change. Obviously, you know, if you look at the Lakers and if they shoot uh, their 40% like they usually would from the three point line, they would have made three or four more of their three-pointers, and, and the game would would be within uh, five points anyway, maybe even tied if they if they made four of them. And that's really the the difference. Uh, you know, six for twelve from the three-point line for the Cardinals, and one for thirteen from the three-point line from uh, Lake State. So a lot of time left. Uh, you know, a whole half time for the Lakers to recover. Hopefully Saginaw Valley won't uh, continue to shoot the ball at that pace. <clears throat> and hopefully the Lakers uh, get their shoot and touch back as, uh, you know, Jordan Dasuki hit that first three-pointer right off the bat and the Lakers missed the next 12 that they, uh, they took during that first half. So starters coming out for the Lakers, uh, Nicholson, Dasuki, Monger, Goldschmidt, and Williams for the Cardinals, Gauhaus, Turnage, Garner, Wells, and Hall. So Williams will bring it up for the Lakers. Over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt out top to uh, Nicholson. Over to Williams. Williams free throw line inside to Nicholson. Nice move there. But pick and roll by Nicholson. And the Lakers get an easy one and are within 10. Garner with it. Malik Garner gives it to Turnage. Turnage at the free throw line. Drives in the paint. Throws up a runner. No good. Nicholson on the rebound. And Nicholson will give it off to Monger, who passes it cross court to Williams. Williams on the right wing. Williams going to drive left, gives it back to Monger. Three pointer, no good, short. And uh, Monger still can't find his touch. Carson 0 for 3 now from 3. Wide open jump shot, just a little short. Garner to Galhaus, over to Hall, now in the deep corner to Wells. Wells tried to drive baseline, gives it back to Galhaus, now to. Turnage now all the way to the right side to Hall. Hall with it. Now inside to Turnage. Turnage against double team. Blocked out of bounds by Nicholson. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Lakers trail by 10. 39-29. Here's uh, Galhaus going to inbound to Hall. Hall with it. Three left on the shot clock. Hall with a three-pointer. Good. Goldschmidt was right in his face and he just went up over him and uh, knocked another one down and uh, the second half starts the same way the first half did with uh, Saginaw Valley making three pointers. Now Goldschmidt drives in to uh, get a layup and it's blocked and uh, Nicholson tried to run it down the corner, lost the handle and it went out of bounds off of the Lakers. So uh, Looked like Goldschmidt was going to get a layup, and instead it, uh, the ball uh, is going the other way. So here's Garner with it for Saginaw Valley. Garner into the paint, throws up a shot. Nicholson blocks it out of bounds. That's six block shots already for Nicholson. So uh, he's playing big inside, Mike is. So the Lakers will... Have to play defense. There's Hall again. Three-pointer no good finally. And Monger comes down with a rebound. Off to Williams. Williams with it. Free throw line. Double team. Gets it over to Nicholson again. Up and good. Nicholson just sliding through to the basket. The uh, Cardinals so intent about not giving a three-pointer up. The middle's open for Nicholson and he scored again. Here's Galhaus to Turnage to the left side to Hall over to Wells. Wells brings it back to the top of the key. Wells almost Lost it, but Turnage comes down with it in the corner to uh, Hall. Hall against Williams. Hall still with the ball out top. Eight on the shot clock. Hall still with it, going to drive into the paint, and it's blocked. 
Throws up a shot and good, and Turnage followed the shot. Good defense initially, but we couldn't get the offensive rebound, and Turnage gets an easy layup. Here's Nicholson off to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt drives to the right. Goldschmidt looks inside, nothing there. Gets it to Dasuki. Dasuki now into Nicholson, and another easy layup, and uh, that's three layups in a row for Nicholson. And we're tearing it up inside. Now we just have to get some stops on defense as we trail 44-33. Here's Garner with it on the right side against Asuki. Garner with it, looks inside for Turnage. Turnage deep on the low post, inside to Gelhaus. And oh, Nicholson goes up for the shot, or it's the block, and uh, Gelhaus faked the shot. And Nicholson goes flying over his back down to the floor and will pick up the foul, I believe. But it wasn't in the act of shooting, and that's Nicholson's first, team's first. So uh, out of bounds for Saginaw Valley, who leads by 11. They get into Turnage, Turnage puts up the shot, and good. Hit about a five footer on the out of bounds play. And uh, Saginaw Valley's up 13. Williams gets a screen from Nicholson. Williams deep in the corner to Dasuki for three, and that's no good. Tipped around, Nicholson with the rebound, puts it up, no good, puts it up again, no good. And Turnage comes down with the rebound. <clears throat> Nicholson had a couple chances there. Just couldn't get the ball to fall. And the Lakers back on defense again. Turnage with it. Turnage to the right side. Now to Gelhaus. Gelhaus to Garner. Garner drives left. Stops. Still with the ball. Bounce pass into Gelhaus. Stolen by. Oh, they're going to say a jump ball. Goldschmidt uh, had the ball. Took it away. And they're going to say go jump ball. And uh, that will give the ball back to uh, Saginaw Valley. Nicholson comes out. He's, uh, I think, a little tired. He's been working hard in there, and Smutney comes in for him. Eight seconds left on the shot clock for Saginaw Valley. They get it inside to Dixon. Dixon puts it up and scores. Boy, that's two or three inbound plays in a row where Saginaw Valley's got an easy basket off of it. And they lead by 15, their largest lead of the night, inside to Dasuki. Dasuki tried to shoot it without coming down, and he missed it. He could have came down with the ball and went right back up. He had plenty of time, but another missed shot by the Lakers. Inside, and Smutney is going to get a foul reaching around Dixon. That's going to be the second team foul on the Lakers. In the uh, first on Smutney, so it'll be Saginaw Valley ball leading by 15 with 15.47 to go in the second half. Get the ball deep outside now to Garner. Garner going to drive left. Now he'll back it out. Still with the ball. Garner into the paint and throws up a one-handed runner, and it's good. And the Lakers uh, continue to uh, have a hard time stopping the uh, Cardinals with the uh, shooting percentage that they've done, and the Lakers can't hit anything. Here's Williams. Williams is going to get a foul called against him as Wells follows him. 50 to 33, Lakers trail. Got to get some instant offense. Now Kimontrese Collins comes in for Jordan Dasuki. The inside game has been working a little bit, but the outside game, we've only made one three-pointer. Here's Monger with it. He's going to take a three. That's no good. And Wells comes down with the rebound. <clears throat> Wells over to Garner. Garner to Roberts. Roberts back to Garner. Garner drives left. Garner against Smutney. Kicks it out to Dixon over to Davis for three and no good. And Goldschmidt rebounds off to Williams. Williams up court quickly. Williams at the free throw line. Still with it. Going to take a 16 footer. That's no good. And Garner comes down with it. And the coach uh, Baruth says let's slow it up. We don't need to play fast. We got a 17 point lead. Let's run some clock. And now it's under 15 minutes. And unless the Lakers start hitting some outside shots, it's going to be a long night for the Lakers. Here's Wells with it. Wells kicks it out to Davis, over to Dixon. Dixon thought about a shot, but gives it back to Warner. Six on the shot clock. Warner to Roberts. Roberts three-pointer. Good. And everything that Saginaw Valley throws up is going in. And it's 53-33 Saginaw Valley. Lakers uh, don't have an answer right now. Smutney going to try a three and no good. 
And rebound, but there's Monger underneath, and he's going to get, get a foul. He looked like he stole the ball, but instead he picks up the foul. And before Saginaw Valley will bring it back, it's the media timeout. So with the score, Saginaw Valley 53, Lake State 33. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Got a 60 here. For patients of the UP and Northern Lower Michigan, with the introduction of the Da Vinci Robot Surgical System, War Memorial Hospital is the only hospital north of Traverse City and throughout the entire Upper Peninsula to offer this new robotic surgery. Less evasive, quicker recovery time, easier on the doctors, and 3D vision of the patient. These are just some of the many benefits this surgical robot brings to War Memorial doctors and their patients. War Memorial Hospital, the right care is right here. Cooper Dental is a great supporter of Laker Athletics. Cooper Dental features non-invasive ultrasonic cleaning and the most advanced approach to oral hygiene with three full-time assistants, two hygienists, and Dr. Kevin Cooper with 33 years of experience. Dr. Cooper is a Laker alum with family ties to Laker athletics. Bring your dental service into the 21st century. Make it Cooper Dental, located at Brady and Portage in the Sioux. Call them today at 906-632-0074 or check them out online at cooperdental.info. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. And welcome back to the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail Saginaw Valley 53-33. to Tale of two, uh, two shoot shooting uh, percentages. Saginaw Valley making almost everything, and the Lakers can't. Uh, there's a, some cellophane or something over their basket because they can't hit anything from the outside. Turnage uh, inside is going to be followed by Collins. That'll be the fourth foul on the Lakers, and it'll be uh, Saginaw Valley ball out under their own basket. Turnage will take the ball inbounds. Turnage uh, tried to get it in to Dixon and uh, it was knocked right back at him by uh, Smutney. And uh, he'll inbound it again under the uh, Cardinal basket. <coughs> Excuse me. Turnage trying to get it inside, finds Roberts. Roberts, 16 footer, no good. Rebound to Collins. Collins hands off to Karendiff, who's out there now. Karendiff. Up the right side to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt back to Karendiff. Over to Goldschmidt. Now to the corner to Monger. Monger out top to Smutney. Over to Collins. Collins on the left wing. Looks for cutters. Nothing there. Off to Karendiff. Karendiff over to Goldschmidt on the right wing. Goldschmidt finds Collins deep in the corner. He's going to try a three. And he knocked it down. Pimontres finally hit a three for the Lakers. And the Lakers trail now 53-36. Maybe that will get... The Lakers shooting jump started a little bit. Here's uh, Wells. Wells going to drive in, kicks it back to Dixon. Dixon over to Turnage, back to Dixon, 15 footer, good. So uh, Lakers can't get a stop on the other end. But they uh, did get three for two, so they cut that lead by one in the last two possessions. Smutney over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt underneath to Collins. Collins one on one against Turnage, puts up a left handed shot, no good. Rebound underneath to uh, Turnage, and uh, Dixon looks like he's having trouble with his contact, maybe. And the official's going to stop the uh, action here. Yeah, it must be a contact. He's putting it back in. So it'll be a Saginaw ball out of bounds. Leading 55-36, 12.48 left in the game. Wells with it against Karen Diff. Wells across the timeline. Still with it. Into the paint. Kicks it out to Roberts. Now top to Turnage. Back to Roberts on the left wing. Roberts spin dribble. Now to the top of the key to Dixon. To Wells over to Hall. Hall bounce pass to Dixon. Dixon thought about taking the shot. Gives it back to Hall. Two on the shot clock. One not going to get the shot off. Good defense there by the Lakers. Shot clock violation by the Cardinals. So... Uh, Lakers will get the ball back. They just need to uh, score on most every possession they have left to cut into this 19 point lead. Karen Diff with it. Karen Diff off to Collins. Goldschmidt to the right side to Monger. Back out top to Smutney. Now over to Karen Diff. Karen Diff looks inside for Collins. Now he gets it into Collins against Turnage. Collins faces the basket, spins underneath, puts up a shot, and is followed by Turnage. 
Good job there by Kimantris. And he will go to the line and shoot two as Turnage picks up the second foul for the uh, Cardinals in the half and the first on CJ. Kimantris, a 68% uh, free throw shooter from the line. The first one's up and good. Now Gelhaus and Warren. Garner coming in. Wells and <coughs> Dixon going out. 55-37, Lakers trail, 12.03 to go in the game. Looks like uh, Nicholson going to check back in if Collins makes this, and he does. <coughs> He's checking back in for Smutney. So the Lakers now going to put some full court pressure on. Turnage with it, trying to get it inbound. Turnage gets it over to Garner, and he's followed by Goldschmidt. And that's the fifth team foul on the Lakers. So not in the shooting bonus yet. Garner, they get it in, back to Turnage. Turnage has it up to uh, Hall. Hall bounce pass stolen by Carson Monger. Good hands there by Monger. Up to Karen of, over to Goldschmidt for three, and that one's down. And Goldschmidt uh, finally makes a three, and the Lakers are within 14. Put some more pressure on. Almost stolen there. They get it up to Roberts. Roberts left-handed shot, no good. Nicholson made him alter the shot, and he comes down with the rebound to Karen to Goldschmidt. Three-pointer, no good. That would have been a big one. But uh, we made two of the last three three-pointers, so that certainly helps. And now uh, Saginaw Valley is going to get it up court and call a timeout. So it'll be a 30-second timeout. So with the score, Saginaw Valley 55, Lake State 41. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Okay, I got a 30 here. Local independent agent, so customers could get fast, friendly local service. Bravo. It worked so well, we decided to keep it that way. And 100 years later, we still do things the same way by teaming up with local independent agents who deliver quality personal service. Thank you. Some might call that old school. But then again, maybe everything old is new again. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? Visit Madigan Pingator Insurance Services today on Water Street in Sioux, Michigan, or at MadiganPingator.com. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. And we're back at the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail 55 to 41, 11 18 left in the game. Some other scores from around the league. Ashland leads Walsh 60 to 46 in the 11 minutes left in the game. Finley leads Tiffin 47-25 with six minutes left. Hillsdale's ahead of Lake Erie 31-21 with five minutes left in the first. Wayne State leads Northwoods 24-19 with four minutes left in the first. Michigan Tech leads Grand Valley 12-11 with 10 minutes left in the first. And Ferris State leads Northern 29-23 with four minutes left in the first. So Lakers uh, on a little bit of a run here. If they can... Uh, get a stop here the uh, group that's out there is an unlikely group to uh, be making this run but they're hustling and uh, making some shots so here's uh, Saginaw Valley turnage with it to Wells on the right wing Wells to Galhouse Galhouse looks for cutters finds Wells Wells inside to Hall and Hall has it stolen by Nicholson good hands by Cairndiff to knock that away and here's uh, Cairndiff across the timeline Karendiff calling out uh, Goldschmidt to come up, but he gets it over to uh, Collins. Goldschmidt into the paint, one-handed runner, and no good. Rebound over to Turnage, and uh, Coach Hedinger can't believe that uh, they didn't get a foul down there, and now down the other end, Wells goes in for a layup and gets fouled by Goldschmidt. And Coach Hedinger is not happy with that exchange as uh, that's a good four-point swing, maybe a five-point swing as Mike Wells will go to the line where he shoots 83% and try to complete the three-point play and get the lead back up to 17. And he does make the free throw. So it's 58-41. Uh, <clears throat> now Coach Hedinger bringing four new players in. Karendiff with it but they can't get in until the next whistle. Here's Nicholson over to the right side to Monger. Monger is going to be 
Nope, gonna foul, gonna foul on Galhaus as uh, he pushed Nicholson off the box. So the Lakers uh, will get it under their own basket. Now Williams, Dasuki, Marquardt, and Adams come in. Nicholson is the only player that stays out there for the Lakers. That was the third team foul on Saginaw Valley. Williams gets it into Nicholson, back out to Marquardt, over to Adams. Adams looks inside, finds uh, Nicholson. Nicholson one on one against Galhaus. Nicholson and uh, Galhaus almost throws him to the ground. And he'll get the foul. I don't know if it'll be a shooting foul. And they say yes, it will be a shooting foul. So uh, Galhaus has three now. Nicholson going to try to make two free throws. In the first half he was three out of five. He makes that one. 58-42, Lakers trail, 10-18 to go in the game. Now uh, Galhaus sits down and Dixon comes in for Saginaw Valley. And it looks like Dasuki almost went into the lane, but they say no, so the free throw counts. And it's 58-43, Saginaw Valley. Here's Turnage with it. Off to Garner. Back to Turnage to Wells on the left wing. Wells to Dixon, top of the key. Over to Garner on the right wing. They're trying to get it into Turnage. They do get it into Turnage. Turnage against Goldschmidt. Turnage into the paint. Turnage is going to be fouled by Goldschmidt. Or excuse me, Marquart. And uh, he'll go to the line to shoot one and one. So, uh, but he won't shoot until after the media timeout. So with the score, Saginaw Valley 58, Lake State 43. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Hi. Okay, I've got 60 here. Painting a simple pleasure. Ask one of our friendly, knowledgeable Ace Associates about our Ace Royal Paint, a high-quality paint at a price you'll love. You'll find Ace Royal Paint starting at an everyday low price of just $19.99 a gallon. It's another reason why, from a simple start to a fabulous finish, Parker Ace can help make your next painting project perfect. Parker Ace, it's a helpful place. Stop by Parker Ace Hardware. We're looking forward to hearing you real soon. Stop by Parker Ace Hardware at 819 Ashman, downtown Sioux, Michigan. Show your Laker pride and stock up on everything the students in your family needs at the Barnes & Noble Bookstore on campus at Lake State. Laker apparel from Under Armour and Nike, plus Laker souvenirs show you're a Laker backer. Get all the textbooks you need because they price match textbooks. Stop by and learn more today. Plus, all top 10 best-selling fiction and non-fiction books are always 20% off. Laker pride lives at Barnes & Noble on campus at Lake State. Open weekdays, even Saturdays, 10 to 3. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. Welcome back to the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail Saginaw Valley 58 to 43. Blake Marquardt picked up his second foul there against C.J. Turnage. That's the seventh team foul, so it'll be one and one for Turnage. Turnage, a... Uh, 58% free throw shooter on the year. The first half he went one out of two. So this is one and one here. First one's up, no good. And Nicholson comes down with a rebound off to Williams. Williams up the left side. Kim J with it, top of the key. Kim J into the paint, throws up a runner, no good. Tipped around, Williams comes down with it and he's gonna be pushed by Garner. And so that'll be the fifth team foul on Saginaw Valley, so no shooting yet for the Lakers, and the Kim J will inbound under the Laker basket. He'll get it into Adams. Adams thought about three. Gives it back to Williams. Spins, puts up a left-handed shot, and Hall fouls him. So a Kim J will go to the line and shoot two. That'll be uh, the sixth team foul. And it'll be the second on Hall. So Williams will go to the line and shoot two. He was one for one in the first half. And this one he misses. But he'll get one more free throw attempt here. This one is up and good. So 58-44, Lakers trail, full court pressure by Lake State. Garner with it against uh, Adams. Garner gonna get it up across the timeline. Now he'll slow it down. 
it worked the left side, hands off to Hall. Hall back out top to Turnage, to the right side to Wells. Wells looks inside, nothing there, back to the top to Dixon. Over to Garner on the left wing. Now stolen by Williams, nice steal there. Kimjay going all alone, puts it up and scores. Nice job there by Williams getting that steal, and the Lakers are within 12. Here comes Garner now again. Garner going to drive to the left, hand it off to Hall, now back to Turnage, rotates it over to Wells on the right side. Wells stops, finds Dixon. Dixon over to uh, Garner, now to Turnage deep in the left corner. Turnage double team, cross court pass to Wells, almost lost it. Wells with it, still with it, and it is almost stolen, three on the shot clock, and we're going to have a foul on Dasuki. Oh, Coach Henninga is livid as uh, Jordan Dasuki picks up the foul in a scramble for a loose ball. I'm not sure how. And now the official is warning Coach Henninga. And it'll be Hall going to the line now, 80% 80, 80 free throw shooter, 81%. In the first half, he was uh, two for two, make it three for three. And again, uh, that one was a tough call as the uh, players were just hustling for the ball and somehow he picked out that Dasuki got a hand on Hall. And there was only two seconds left on the shot clock and that was the worst part. The Lakers had uh, really played good defense. And uh, Hall makes two free throws, the Lakers 14 behind. Now Williams for three, knocked it down. And the Lakers are within 11, <clears throat> 60 to 49, eight and a half to go. Hall with it. Hall over to Wells, Wells back out top to Garner. Garner being guarded by Adams. Garner still with it, hands off to Hall now to Dixon. Dixon to the right side to Wells. Back out top to Gelhaus now, back to Wells on the right side, 11 on the shot clock. Wells backs off against Williams. Wells over to Dixon, back to Wells. Wells double team now. Wells long pass out, two, two left on the shot clock. Hall with a three pointer, no good. Rebound to Nicholson. Good defense by the Lakers and here comes Williams. Williams up court, through the paint, throws it up and scores and is fouled. So it could be another three point play here by the Lakers and the Lakers are <coughs> have the momentum now and uh, that'll be the third foul on Garner. Williams could uh, cut the deficit to eight now as it's 60 to 51 with 7.53 to go in the game. Goldschmidt and Monger come in now for the Lakers. Williams with the free throw attempt and that's good. 60 to 52, Lakers trail and almost stolen by Adams on the press, but it's knocked out of bounds. So uh, Saginaw Valley will get it back. Gelhaus with it, Gelhaus trying to get it inbounds. Gelhaus still with it, finds Roberts. Roberts back to uh, Hall, Hall to Roberts, almost stolen by Williams to Gelhaus. Now they're gonna pull it back out and uh, run the offense. Here's uh, Garner with it. 7.39 to go, Lakers trail by eight. Garner still with the ball. Out top to Hall, deep in the corner to Roberts. Roberts drives in the paint, back to Dixon. Dixon, 12-footer, no good. Rebound tipped out, though, to uh, Hall. And the uh, Lakers had a good stop. Now they have to play defense again. Garner with it. Garner on the right wing. Still with the ball. Going to take a three-pointer. That's going to be short. Tipped around, and Nicholson comes down with a rebound. He's going to be followed by Gelhaus. And Nicholson will go down and shoot a one and one. Nice hustle there by Nicholson. That's the fourth on Gelhaus. And that's the eighth team foul on the Cardinals. So Mike Nicholson, uh, who is only a 50% free throw shooter on the year, 54%, big free throws here to get the Lakers possibly within six. First one's up, no good. Monger had the rebound, but it was tipped away by Turnage. And the uh, Lakers leave a couple points off the board there by missing the free throw. Now they have to play defense again. Garner with it, Garner 
Double team. Now he stops his dribble back to Hall or Turnage. Back to Garner. Now in the corner to Roberts. Roberts underneath to Turnage. Turnage puts it up and he's going to be followed by Nicholson. He got good position under there and uh, got the foul. That's the ninth team foul on the Lakers. So it's still a one and one for Turnage. And he'll go to the line for one and one. That's the second foul on Nicholson. Turnage, no good on the first. Actually, it was a two-shot foul. They said he was in the act of shooting. He missed the first. He'll get one more attempt here. Lakers uh, were down by 20. Now are within eight with 6.47 to go in the game. Next free throw, Turnage makes. So a nine-point lead for Saginaw Valley. Williams with it. Williams across the timeline. Drives to the right. Still with the ball. Monger going to cut through. Now Williams tried to get by and throws up a scoop shot and it's good. Got right around Hall. And the Lakers are within seven. Here's Turnage. Gives it off to Warner. Or Garner. Garner. Across the timeline. Double team. Garner gives it to Turnage. Williams tried to get the steal but was just a little late there. Back to Garner. Garner with it against Adams, and we're going to say Adams is pushing him, and that's the ninth team foul on, the, or the tenth team foul on the Lakers. So Malik Garner will go to the free throw line, and they'll be in the two-shot bonus from now on. Garner is an 86% free throw shooter, so the guy, the guys they have on the floor, Garner's 86%, Hall's 81%. He makes the first. Dixon 74%, the only one out there that uh, is questionable, or the only two are Roberts and Turnage. Next free throws up and good. So back to a nine point lead for the Cardinals. Six minutes to go in the game. Adams with it. Adams to the right to Monger. Off to Williams. Williams out top to Nicholson, over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt tries to drive in, gives it back to Williams, and Williams is gonna be pushed by Roberts and he'll go to the line and try a one and one as the officials are really tightening up tighten up the calls now <clears throat> with 555 left in the game. Kim G. Big free throws here. We missed one front end of the one and one already tonight. And he makes that one. Now uh, Tim Karendiff will come in and Malik Adams will sit down. 63-55, Lakers trail by eight, 5.55 to go in the game. Williams' next free throw attempt is no good, and Turnage comes down with the rebound. Turnage gives it off to Garner. Lakers have to play good defense without fouling. They get it off to Turnage, back to Garner. Garner being guarded by Karendiff. Garner to the right to Hall. Hall back to Garner. 12 on the shot clock. Garner going to drive left, and we're going to have a foul out top on the pass. Wow. They're calling every little touch now as uh, Karendiff wasn't even close to uh, touching him. And now uh, Garner goes back to the line where he's almost perfect on the year, but he missed the first one, so uh, Lakers get a break there. And now we're going to stop for uh, something. I don't know what the uh, problem is with Co Coach Baruth. I don't know what he's complaining about. I don't know if he's complaining that the arrow's pointing the Lakers' way or what, but uh, Garner will get another free throw attempt. This one's good. So the lead for the Cardinals is back up to nine with five and a half to go. Karendorf will bring it down court to Williams. Williams hands off to Monger, back out top to Nicholson. Nicholson will hand off to Williams. Williams drives to the right, hits Goldschmidt for three. That's no good, rebound to uh, Hall. That would have been a big one to knock down. Could have got to within six, but uh, a little short by Goldschmidt. Here's Garner. 
Lakers going to have to play some defense now. Try to get a couple stops. And the uh, Cardinals are definitely running clock. They're running the shot clock down to under five every time. Here's Garner. Garner against Karenda. Puts it up and scores. Took it right into the lane. Nicholson got there. Tried to block the shot, but they couldn't. Williams now. Williams at the three-point line inside. One-handed runner. No good. Rebound Monger. And Monger is fouled by Hall, I think. No, nope. it's going to be uh, Roberts. And we're going to have, before Carson can go and shoot his two free throws, we're going to have the last media timeout. So with the score, Saginaw Valley 66, Lake State 55. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Not only do they offer complete tire sales and service, they also provide fast professional tire repair. Their computer spin balancing technique ensures your rubber meets the road properly. Free air and tire checks are done by their pros, so stop in before your next road trip. Field and road service are available. Plus, they now offer tire pressure monitoring system service. Call 632-6661. UP Tire on East Easter Day and Seymour in Sioux, Michigan and at uptire.com. I love my life and all the things it has to give, like having all the apps I need right at my fingertips. Friends, photos, and my mobile banking app. I can pay bills, check my balance, even deposit a check right on my mobile phone. It's awesome. I just tap the app. Sue Co-op Credit Union, your credit union, federally insured by NCUA. Visit us online at SueCoop.com. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. And we're back at the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail by 11 with 434 to go in the game. Carson Monger at the free throw line. He will get two shots. Carson, a 78% free throw shooter on the season. All the free throws are big down the stretch, but these ones are certainly big. First one's up and good. Lakers uh, down by 10 now. Chance to cut it down to nine. The shot's up and also good. Lakers putting full court pressure on. They've got a couple steals off of this tonight. They get it into Garner, Garner double team. Garner gets out of the double team with a spin dribble up to Hall, Hall. Brings it down court. Now he'll back it out to Garner. And uh, Coach Baruth says uh, slow it down. Run some clock. Hall with it. Hall is going to take a three. Now he steps back and takes a three. And that one's in. Adams ran by him trying to block the first three. And, uh, and he just stepped back and took another one and knocked it down. So the Lakers trail by 12. Goldschmidt up and in. Nice pass there by Adams. Or excuse me, Williams. And get two points right back, and the Lakers trail by 10. Here's Garner with it. Garner across the timeline. Now the Lakers will back off. Play some defense. Garner going to drive into the paint. Garner throws up a runner, up and good. He got right in to the paint. Scored an easy basket, so the Lakers haven't been able to get a stop the last couple times down the court. Williams with it. Williams drives to the paint, throws it up, and scores. Both teams not playing a lot of defense, and now Coach uh, Hedinga will take a timeout, a 30-second timeout, so with the score, Saginaw Valley 71, Lake State 61. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Out of 30 here. Stuck in a nasty snowstorm with a snowblower that won't start. First Impression Small Engine Repair has walked behind four old snowblowers to handle any driveway with models from 21 to 28 inches and electric power shovels for sidewalks and decks that are also available. Now is the time to bring in your current snowblower for a checkup to be ready for the snow. First Impression Small Engine Repair west on 7 Mile from Mackinac Trail. Ask about our financing options. And now back to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. WK. Authority. And welcome back to the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail by 10. Saginaw Valley with the ball. Lakers putting full court pressure on here. Both teams in the double bonus as uh, both teams have 10 or more personal fouls. Lakers double team in the corner. Get it over to Garner. Garner across the timeline against Williams. 
Garner going to drive into the paint. Kicks it back to Roberts. Roberts looks for turnage. Nothing there. Back to Garner. 13 on the shot clock. Garner with it over to Hall. Hall is going to be fouled by Adams. Way out by half court. There's only eight seconds left on the shot clock. Not sure uh, why you would fall a 81% uh, free throw shooter that far away from the basket. But uh, they did put him at the line and uh, he makes the first. Lakers uh, basically just falling the Cardinals and they're getting all their points at the free throw line instead of trying to make them from the field. So they're up by 12 again with three minutes left. Here's uh, Adams with it off to Dasuki. Dasuki cross court to Collins, now over to Williams. Williams fakes, now drives to the top of the key, into the paint, and they're gonna say no foul, or no basket foul out on top is, was it Turnage or? Yes, Turnage his second, and Williams will go back to the free throw line and shoot two. Just under three minutes to go in the game. Lakers trail by 12. Williams uh, at the free throw line. First one's up and good. Goldschmidt coming in for Collins. That's a second on turnage, second foul. Williams will get another free throw, and that one's good as well. So full court pressure again by the Lakers, trying to get a turnover. Turnage gets it into Wells. Wells double team, cross court pass stolen by Williams. Williams gonna take a three and then he's gonna drive to the basket and Garner follows him. So uh, Williams will go right back to the line for two free throws. This is the way you want uh, to score because uh, the clock is stopped and that's, that's Garner's fourth foul. So, uh, He's one of their ball handlers. Williams uh, free throws up and good. Cuts the lead to nine with 2.49 to go. He'll get one more attempt here. And that one's good as well. So Lakers within eight, putting full court press on. Turnage trying to get it in. Turnage gets it into Wells. Wells across the timeline. Now he'll slow it up. He'll go in against Williams. Now he'll back it out. Now back out to Garner. Garner going to run clock, trying to take that uh, shot clock down to under 10. Hall with it out top. Hall with 11 on the shot clock. Hall double team and almost threw it away, but Wells gets it. Wells still with the ball. Wells one-handed runner, no good. And Dasuki is going to be fouled by Roberts. And Jordan will go to the line and shoot some free throws. And uh, Jordan can make these two free throws. The Lakers will be within six. Dasuki uh, struggles at the free throw line, although he's gotten better in the last half of the year. He's up to 71%, but at the beginning of the year he was down around 50%. But if he can knock these two down, the Lakers will be within six. First one's no good. Just a little long. See if he can make this one. 2.21 left in the game. Lakers trail by eight. And Jordan misses both free throws. Oh. That was big. They could have been within two possessions, and now uh, they have to play defense hard again. Garner with it. 20 seconds left. On the uh, shot clock, kicks it out to Roberts. Roberts just running clock, down to 10 seconds left. Now he'll get it over to Hall. Hall spin dribble, back to Gar Garner. Garner in the paint. Now over to Hall. It's stolen though by Goldschmidt and then almost stolen back by Hall. But a good steal by the Lakers. They'll retain possession. 151 left in the game. Trail by eight, 73-65. Get it into Dasuki, cross court to Adams. Adams with it, Adams gonna get a screen. Adams into the paint, throws up a runner. It's blocked though. And then it's stolen back by uh, Goldschmidt and then Goldschmidt throws it away and here comes Roberts the other way. 
Roberts puts it up, missed the shot. And then he fouls Williams. And Williams will go down and shoot free throws. Roberts had an easy layup. He missed it. And then uh, on the rebound, he fouled Williams. And Williams will go down and shoot two. And I don't know, that's five fouls on Roberts. So he'll sit out. And Gelhaus comes in for Saginaw Valley. So again, the Lakers at the free throw line. If they make their free throws, they could be within a couple points, but uh, have struggled. Mike Nicholson missed a one or two. Jordan Dasuki just missed two. Let's see if Akimji can knock these down and get the lead cut down to six with a minute and a half left. And he misses the first free throw. That's three free throws in a row the Lakers have missed. And the Kimji's one of their better free throw shooters. So uh, definitely uh, could have been a much closer game. And he makes the second, so it's down to seven points. Lakers, uh, again, going to have to uh, try to get a steal or foul right away. You don't want to foul Garner. You don't want to foul Hall. The rest of the people are a little... Better to fall. Hall with the ball, though. You don't want to follow him. And we're going to have a timeout by Saginaw Valley as he was trapped in the corner. So uh, 30-second timeout with the score. Saginaw Valley 73, Lake State 66. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Laker Basketball on ESPN 1400. Cool. Water refreshing. Got it. 30 here. Many weapons. All right. Science. Water. 40. Water treatment specialist at MNC Water System. They'll test your water and, if necessary, treat it so it tastes better and is odor and stain free. MNC also delivers salt for your current water treatment system. Call Mo, Carla, or Mo today at 647 7307 for a free water analysis. MNC Water System, serving the Eastern UP from South M129. And now back to Laker basketball on ESPN 1400. And welcome back to the Bud Cooper Gymnasium where the Lakers trail Saginaw Valley 73-66, minute and a half left. Saginaw Valley ball. Going to inbound right at the uh, side court, right in front of the Laker bench. As uh, Turnage will inbound for Saginaw Valley. And Turnage will inbound, get it into Garner. Garner up to Hall. Hall quickly up, all alone, Gelhaus. Gelhaus doesn't shoot. He's going to run some clock. So uh, Lakers uh, now need to follow the right person, not him and not him. Now you could follow him and uh, Turnage, and they did. That was uh, Adams that followed him. Turnage will go to the line. He is the uh, player you want to follow. He didn't hang on to the ball long, but he hung on to it just enough to get fouled. 58% free throw shooter on the year. He's going to get two with a minute 13 to go. C.J. Turnage free throws up and good. Now coming in is Josh Marquardt and Jordan Dasuki. Checking out is Nicholson and Adams. Lakers have turned it on here in the second half, the last 10 minutes, but uh, dug themselves a very deep hole. And Turnage, who only hits 58% of the free throws, hits both, and there's a big difference. Their free throw shooter misses or makes it, and ours miss, and now Turnage steals the ball off of Williams, and uh, it's going to be pretty difficult to come back now. Here's Garner. Garner over to Turnage. Turnage is going to be followed by Goldschmidt. He'll go back to the line, but... Uh, you know, in the last uh, couple minutes, Saginaw Valley's made their free throws. The Lakers have missed their free throws, and uh, that usually tells the story. And Turnage, who is, again, only 50%, 58% back at the line, he makes another one. Three for three. When your 58% free throw shooter makes free throws at the end of the game like that, that's a definitely a bonus. And he'll uh, get the next one, and he makes that too. So four for four down the stretch. The Lakers trail by 11 with under a minute to go. Here's Williams. Williams back to Monger. Monger over to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt three-pointer, no good. Rebound 
to Gelhaus, and he's followed by Monger. And the Lakers uh, going to really have a tough defeat here. Saginaw Valley was only 8 and 10 in the conference. A couple games behind the Lakers, and uh, Lakers could have really put themselves in good position because Michigan Tech is losing by 16 down at Grand Valley, and they could have uh, been tied for second here shortly, but uh, Gelhaus makes another one, and uh, that's going to be pretty much it. Most of the fans filing out of the gym now, disappointed that uh, the Lakers couldn't, uh, couldn't play better tonight. First half shooting was just too much to overcome. They only scored 27 points in the first half, and that's probably their low output for the year. Here's Williams. Williams into the paint. Puts up a shot and good. And we're going to have a timeout so that there can be a change here. And Williams will come out and Karen Diff comes in. 79-68. Saginaw Valley leads. And it'll be Turnage who inbounds the ball. Turnage gets it into Wells. Wells quickly up court. Wells double team still with the ball. I guess they're not going to follow anybody. You don't want to follow Garner. You might want to follow Turnage. And they didn't even follow him. They get it to Gelhaus. Gelhaus is going to be followed by Monger with 25 seconds left. And Gelhaus will go back to the line. He's a 61% free throw shooter, but he made his last two. So their uh, 58 and 61 percent free throw shooters have made six out of six down the stretch here, and uh, that's uh, given them the lead. Now they finally miss one. Galhaus does, but I think uh, with only 25 seconds left, it's too little, too late for the Lakers. They'll have to regroup and try to beat Wayne State on Saturday. He missed the second one too. Karenduff with it. Karendiff across the line needs quick offense. Back to Monger. Monger three-pointer. Good. Monger hits one with 16 seconds left. Uh, gets the Lakers to within eight, but uh, it's not going to be enough as the turnage gets the ball into Garner. Garner gets it up to Gelhaus. Gelhaus up and stuffs it through with 13 seconds left, and it's 81-71. Karendiff quickly comes up court. Mark court for three. No good. Monger pushes in the back, but he saves the ball and off to Dasuki, and he knocks down the three with three seconds left, and that's going to end it with the 81-74 victory for Saginaw Valley, and uh, the Lakers uh, just can't just can't win against Saginaw Valley. That's like four or five losses in a row to the 